Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go to the booth. I've got some things loaded up in my car. As you can see, <laughs> I'm in my scrubs, which means I'm headed off to work. But after work, you and I, we are going to go to the booth and drop off some of these goodies that I have. Can you see it? Probably not. Some of these goodies that I have loaded up in my car. Now I'm trying something new in my booth. I have a bunch of vintage purses that I had sourced throughout, you know, a couple of years. I have some higher end luxury purses that I am going to put in my booth. I'm a little hesitant because sometimes people steal hate to say that but yes sometimes people steal and you know these are my own personal purses that I don't use anymore so I thought I would throw them in the booth see if they sell if they do I can source some more you know on the flip side I don't want anybody to steal them either so we're gonna try out a couple of them I do have a couple they're loaded up in the back I'm going to get like a, I'm going to do a bigger price tag on it. We'll see if that works. Um, I don't know. We'll try it. I'm all, I'm, I'm always game to try things, but it is time for me to head into work or I will be late and I will see you after work when we head to the booth and drop this stuff off. All right, so here are some curtains that I'm going to put in the booth too that is no longer working in our favor. I've washed them and I've hung them up on a clothes hanger. This stuff is to donate. I've got to bring my pricing stuff with me, my pricing sheets, this, and here are all the purses. Here is a, a Lily Pulitzer scarf that I'm going to put into the booth along with the Dooney and Burke um, purse. And I think, yeah, there's a Kate Spade back there. A Vera Bradley makeup pouch too that is gonna go into the booth. So we will just make sure that nobody takes you know, steals the stuff. And guys, if you guys know me in real life, if you needed something, I would 100% give it to you. That's why it just breaks my heart so much that somebody would, you know, steal. I don't know. Um, but I have a couple of things and we'll just put it in the booth and we'll see if it sells. Let's get inside. Guys, it is so empty. I'm going to spin you around and show you how empty this booth is. We have some major redecorating that we have to do. Well, I guess this is one place to put plates. Goodness me, where am I going to put these? Well, let's get them off the floor for right now. So much to do. I go for the gold. I never thought you were easy prey. 
sorry, Mom. I just knew I was so. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting the dishes in here and moving Aunt Dottie's oddities to over here. I think I just need to kind of redo this, pull some stuff out, and over here display them. <laughs> I think the purses and this stuff, the kind of girly stuff that's going to go over in the other booth, I'm thinking. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, never mind. Okay, never mind this mess. But this is where I'm at right now. I moved this more towards the center because that just makes my OCD happy. And in there, I put all the glass and plates and stuff. I just kind of reorganized some things around. And I hung the chair on the wall because I watched a Western movie and the lady hung her chairs on the wall. So I thought, oh, that's kind of fun. I have to price that. Sorry, Mom. And that stuff will kind of skedaddle out of here. And... I gotta put the curtains up 
like right here. So I'm trying not to go fast. And right here. So I just kind of moved the vases and stuff right here. Candlesticks, maybe I can grab some from my collection and put them in the booth. And Aunt Dottie's oddities are right here. So that is where I'm at right now. And I think it looks pretty good for 10 minutes work. I'm loving my little setup here with my little teapot. I love that. Anyway, let's get this done because it's closing at 6. Alright, so we're in booth number two and we are just kind of cleaning it up. This booth is all, it's going to be all about girly stuff, I think. That's, I think that's how I went to morph this booth. So I'm hanging up one of the purses and this is what I'm talking about. I just made a big tag out of cardboard and I just put my stuff on there. So we'll see. I'm not going to put too many of them out but just enough to see if they sell. Okay, so we have the purses up. Wish me luck. Uh, we'll see how they sell and I'll let you guys know how well the vintage luxury purses sell. I'm nervous. I'll spin you around. So I have the vintage pink, the scarf, the Dooney and Burke and Kate Spade, some Lily, whoops, some L Lily and Coach. I mean, they're not in the best of shape, but they are vintage. So we'll see how well they sell in here. I'm not sure, but that one is my favorite so far and I can't let go of this one. I don't know why. It, I I did use it for a while. It's just too light for me, but I will put it in on another day, I'm thinking. But this is where we're at right now to start transitioning this to a girly boutique booth. I think that is a great idea. So that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little mini trip to the antique booth, um, to, to antique booth and kind of doing a mini reset here. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Remember to like the video and to subscribe. It's free and I will see you in the next video when we are working on the cabinets for getting that room all set up and ready to go. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.